remember on Instagram, I've been talking to you guys lately about makeup and stuff, and I know a lot of us are in the same boat of wanting some makeup that is more clean and natural, doesn't have a bunch of extra ingredients in it, um, and then also is more on the conservative side and not supporting bad things because a lot of the natural makeup brands are more vegan and liberal and will support things like abortion and um, LGBT agenda. So I've been on the search for some good makeup that wasn't super overpriced, that had good ingredients, and that also didn't support bad things. So I ordered some new makeup. I have been using a few different brands that I do enjoy and um, I will have a video posted where I have talked about all the stuff that I am currently using. But I wanted to try out this new brand that I found that is really affordable. Um, there's nothing, no agenda on their account or anything, so I don't think they support anything. And they have really, really natural ingredients and I've seen really good reviews. So I'm really excited to try this out and see what the quality of it is, if it works very well, and hopefully um, be able to use this new makeup. So I got this box um, a couple days ago and I've been waiting for the perfect time to open it with you guys and be able to look at everything. And so this brand is Root Pretty is the brand. And I'll put the link in the description for it. Um, and I ordered samples of a lot of different things because they offer samples, which I think is really cool whenever companies offer these samples. So let's see, there's a little thank you card in there. And okay, the everything I ordered is right here. All right, so let's look at what I got. Uh, they have a rewards program, which I think is always cool. First up, we have their eyeshadow. And this little thing, and I got shade Edda. Ooh, that's really pretty. Let's see. Oh, I like that. I wanted just like a really natural pinkish kind of color. So I'm excited to try that. I really like the sparkle on that. That's really nice. And great packaging too. It's really deep so that nothing's coming out whenever you open it up. Okay, next, oh, I got this one in the full size because they had a sale and it was only like $5. Okay, so this is their blush in Posy. I think it's going out of um, stock and so they had it on sale. Okay, that was very difficult to open. Ooh, I like this a lot. So this is the Posy blush. Test it. Oh, that's a really nice pink shade. I like that. And it has a nice little turn thing in here to keep it all from spilling out. Although I still got some coming out. Such a pretty cool tone color, I love it. I did find when I was looking on their website that they have a wide range of shades for all their different makeup, which I thought was really neat. And I blush all over my fingers. Okay, um, this is their Pretty Skin Perfector in shade five. I wasn't really sure which shades I should get, so um, hopefully some of these work out. Okay, so this I think is more of like a BB cream type thing. Um, it looks like a pretty good shade. I was looking for something kind of a cool tone, a little bit more tan, and nice little consistency, I like that. Pretty creamy, but dries down pretty fast and really good shade match. So I'm excited to try that. Here's another one, shade five in their Pretty Booster Plus. I'm not really sure what the difference in all their foundations is. You'll have to look at that. Ooh, I like this consistency a lot more. I think this is more of like a tinted moisturizer type formula. Oh, I really like that creamy consistency. It's almost watery. And that's something I've been missing with my Mmm, it smells herbal. With my natural makeups that I have, they're pretty dry, but that feels nice and a little bit oily, kind of. Um, but I do like it a little bit wetter, and then you can put powder on top, so that's nice. Um, another foundation thing I got to try out was their Pretty Booster in medium. So this had less of a shade range. I'm not really sure what the difference in the Pretty Booster Plus and the Pretty Booster is. Um, this one is, again, that creamy consistency. Mm, I think I like that one a little bit more. It's more of a silky texture. And it's super soft and it's not creasing at all. So we'll see how that goes. That one looks like it won't have as much coverage though, but maybe for just like a light makeup day, that'd be nice. Okay, I think uh, this is their powder foundation, I think in C4. 
It looks a little bit sparkly, so we'll see how that goes. Then I got, I got two primers. I think I got the Pretty Filter Primer. And mm, that's like a nice lotion-y consistency. That's exciting. And then I got a Pore Minimizing Primer. Mm, that's a little more oily and more separated. Okay, we'll see how that goes. And then I got two different setting uh, powders. These are Organic Aloe Setting Silk. So this one's more of a uh, silkier texture. I like that. And then I got their Super Matte Setting Silk. Um, so that's more of a mattifying one. Okay, a lot looser, less chunky. And what else? I got a bunch of different blushes, I believe. I got the Jordan blush, more of a orangish kind of pink. That's interesting. And then their bubble gum blush. Ooh, I really like that one. It's more of like a hot pink. And then I got their Jassy Pretty Pink. I think this one was the, it could be used. I think this was a lipstick, yeah, a darker lipstick. And then the Michelle lipstick. Ooh, that's a pretty pink color. I like that. Then the Kelly eyeshadow. Hmm, kind of similar to the Etta one. More of a tannish. I think this one's more of a matte. And then lastly, oh, did I open up this bubble gum? Yeah. Okay. And then sun kissed bronze. Pretty. So a lot of stuff seems to have a sparkle to it. So we'll see how that goes. I'll be interested to see that. But so far, I really like the packaging of everything. It doesn't look cheap. And it was only, each of the different samples were only $3. So I think that's really good quality. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and put it on and wear it today. And we'll see how it goes. So I've already put on the, um, like a, a serum that I have. And I put that on. And I did put on a primer. But I'll probably just layer another one on top. Because why not? And um, then I'll let you guys know how I like it. Hmm, kind of has a chemically smell to it. Okay, that is just one coat of the Pretty Booster Plus. I really like the texture of it. It goes on super well, blends really well. Um, the scent is kind of herbal, I like that. Um, I like a really light natural coverage. It's almost like you can't tell there's anything on there, but it does cover up the redness that I have and kind of just evens everything out. So I really like that. That's kind of what I was looking for. Um, so I'm excited for that. I'm gonna try this powder on top. Mm -hmm. That is really good coverage. I don't know how much I like that finish. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. It's definitely catching on to the texture and dryness that I have, so I don't know how much I like that. Hmm. This is really good coverage. I don't know if you can tell, but it's, it's pretty thick, so I think it could go on with just a little bit. I think the one thing they didn't have was a, um, I don't think they had a concealer, but you can use some of their foundations as concealer. Okay, so that looks really good and really thick layer, but I don't like how it's really dry. See how it picked up on like every little bit of dryness on my face? Even though I had the primer and then the booster on top, which I don't know that I was supposed to layer all that stuff, but I kind of just wanted to test it out. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this, um, the mineral blush. 
looking cozy because I really like it. I like that blush and I don't feel like you can see any of the sparkle in it, which I think is really nice, but it's a really good color and it blends super well. Let's go in with the bronzer. I got it in shade Sunkissed. But this I'm just gonna go in with a big brush and kind of spread it all out. Normally I'll do like a contour with bronzer. Pretty, maybe a little bit too orangey for what I like. Okay, now let's go in with this eyeshadow. I can't do it. So I have Kelly and Etta. I think I'll do. I'm gonna go into Kelly just a little bit. There's some pink. I'm gonna go all over the lid with that. Very natural. Very close to my skin tone. Like that. Then I'll go in with Edda. Seems very loose, so we'll see how it goes on. We have a bunch of fallout. Okay, now it's really pretty, but it is like, like I said, a very loose formula, so I'm not sure how well the full sizes do, um, but it's hard to just get a little bit in the sample, and then I feel like you're kind of wasting it. But it's really soft and goes on really well, and I feel like that color and the sparkles are really holding up well. Alright, then let's see. So I have this Michelle lipstick right here, and then I have um, the Jassy. So, and that's the pretty paint. So just take a little bit on my finger. Hmm, interesting consistency. It's kind of like um, Brick Bee's like, chap color chapstick. Mm, it smells kind of like licorice is what it smells like. I would say it's got pretty good saturation for just like a little bit and when it thins out, but it's very dry, so I don't know. I'll do the aloe setting silk because I don't want it to be too, um, already pretty dry. So I think I'll go in with this aloe setting primer. Very like it kind of stuck and didn't blend out very well. Okay, so there's everything. I think that's all the real pretty stuff that I have. Um, so some of the things I really like, I did not like the foundation powder, so probably won't be trying that again and I'll play around with the other stuff. But I like it and I feel like it did a really good job coloring and their shade matching stuff was pretty easy. Um, and I think I got like the right shade on everything, which is really nice. I love the blush. I love the eyeshadow, so we'll see how that holds up. And I think I like the pretty booster plus. Um, and the primer I think was really good too, so we'll see. Um, and I will update you at the end of the day on how it stayed and what I liked best. Okay, this is after four hours. And it's honestly not looking terrible. Okay, you can tell, like, probably not in this lighting, but you can tell, like, that it's really dry with the powder and everything, like, around here and around any of my dryness. But definitely when it soaks in, it gets better. Um, I don't think I like the powder still. Like, on my lines, it was really, like, sinking in. I definitely like the blush. Um, it looks really good and really natural. I think I like the bronzer. I like the eyeshadow. It's just a really simple um, color. But I will definitely be trying the foundations and everything again and seeing like different applications and seeing how I like them. Also the lip color, I mean it came off pretty fast but like it didn't look bad, like you can still tell there was some color there. So not too bad first impression.